Hey guys, welcome to today's quick lesson looking at writing a quantity as a fraction of another quantity. Um, so what kind of questions are we looking at? Well, it might say something like this. What fraction is, let's say, um, $60 of, let's say, $100? So it's asking you to write one quantity, which in this case would be the 60, as a fraction of another quantity, which is the 100. Now, there's a couple of important things that need to happen. The first one, which is the most important, which in this case it does, we need to compare the same units or similar units. For example, we're comparing dollars with dollars, so that's perfect. If it was dollars and cents, that would be an issue, we'd have to change it. The next thing, we simply then actually simply write it as a fraction. So in this case, we're asking to write $60 of 100. Now, what we simply write, I know often it of means times in mathematics, but when we're looking at writing as a fraction, we're simply saying 60 out of 100. That's it. Okay, now it hasn't asked us to simplify, but remember my um, sort of thoughts on this. We should always simplify where possible. With the calculator, that's nice and easy. Without, it's still nice and easy. We can cut the zeros off there, make it 6 out of 10. We can then halve the top and halve the bottom to make 3 fifths. Okay, which is that, which is nice and perfect. 3 fifths is our nice answer. Okay, so this is pretty simple stuff, hence why I said, guys, that this will be a uh, fairly short lesson. Um, let's now write, um, let's say, um, 2 meters out of, let's say, actually, no, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, let's say 150 meters. Okay, it's not what I was going to have. So can you write this as a fraction? So nice and easy. 2 out of 150 equals 1 out of 75. Bang. See how easy that's going to be? So where do they get more challenging? Well, let's look at this one. We're going to write 50 cents of $3 as a fraction. Okay. So, I said the most important thing to start off with is you want to have the same units or similar units, which means, i.e., that is, the same. We are the same. Okay, so the similar units. Now, in this case, we've got cents and we've got dollars. Now, although they're similar, I guess, they are certainly not the same. So, we need to convert them to either both in terms of dollars. So, for example, we could have... 0 0.50 dollars over 3 or we could write them both as cents 50 over 300 it doesn't matter which one of these two you take because they are both correct except for one thing neither of these two are simplified okay you would have to simplify the first one, no matter what happens, because I can't write a fraction with a decimal. Um, but I would also like to simplify both of them, to be honest with you. So, how do we simplify the first one? Well, if I simply times the top and bottom by 2, because double it, I get 1 over 6. That's nice and easy, hey? So that's a nice simplified fraction. What about 50 over 300? We'll cross the zeros off, we get 5 out of 30. Divide the top and bottom by 5, 5 divided by 5 is 1, 30 divided by 5 is 6, 1 6, okay? You can see they're exactly the same answer. So that's a, a more challenging question, I guess, and to be honest, you don't get much harder than that. Um, let's say, uh, what fraction what fraction is let's say 15 millimeters of let's say 1.5 meters so I am going slightly more challenging and I guess the hard part here is not going to be the actual fraction part it's the conversions of meters to millimeters or vice versa so what I'm going to do I'm going to convert 1.5 meters to 150 centimeters to start with. I'm then going to convert 150 centimeters to, now there's 10 millimeters in each centimeter, so we get 1500 millimeters. 
That's where it's going to get difficult, guys, is actually your conversions of your units. Now, I've got that in millimeters, I've got this in millimeters. So what fraction is 15 of 1,500? Well, 15 of 1,500, okay, well, 15 goes into 15 once, 15 goes into 15 once, we get 1 over 100, that's my simplified fraction. That is simply it, guys. Okay, I hope this made sense to you. Um, go back and practice from your textbooks. Any other questions, please forward them to me or put them on my Facebook page. Cheers, guys. Have a fantastic day.